When I first learned about Arnold, I only knew him by his online aliases. He named himself Shabletsky after one of Roblox's founders, John Shabletsky. And like convincing people that he was his brother, seems legit, right? Let me see. Can you prove you're actually Shedletsky's brother? No, it would require effort. Couldn't care less about doing effort. Just got done doing the most complicated physics you'll ever see in Roblox. So any more effort can suck my dick. What? <clears throat> what? Is this the physics? <laughs> he sent a screenshot of, what, a chaos emerald or something? Like, what? what is this supposed to fucking be? This weird little sapphire. That does look like the most complicated physics I have ever seen in my life, though. It's sonic spin dashing. Mmm. Makes sense. People that he was his brother. Seems legit, right? Over the span of five years, Arnold went from being one of Roblox's highest paid developers to being Ooh. indicted on two felonies, facing two life sentences and half a million dollars in fines. Holy shit. From what I understand, all of this started in 2017. Arnold was in the early stages of creating a Sonic the Hedgehog spin-off game called Sonic Simulator. Oh my god, it actually was Sonic Spin Dashing, wasn't it? Wow, you were right on the money. Is this the... I, this is a callback to something a while ago. Is this that YouTube channel that was like an open pedophile? Or is that a completely different Roblox situation? You're talking about Andrew... Oh, that's right. Nope, you're right. That was a completely different person. You're right. Here's a video from his YouTube channel showing off an early prototype. Oh, let me double check. Yeah, because the guy that we that I'm talking about, his name was Andrew. A spin-off game called Sonic Simulator. Here's a video from his YouTube channel showing... That guy off also made prototype. Sonic games, though, which is fucking wild. The guy that was, Arnold's like, openly admitted to being a pedophile? 90 million visits. It was well monetized, fully voiced, and it had a decently sized community. And that's where the problems began. It was no secret that Arnold was very sexually inappropriate when he spoke with his fans. He even admitted to this in his video, responding to the document allegations. It was pretty common knowledge that these jokes were being made in my community. Maybe not to the extent it actually occurred, Jesus Christ. but definitely known. So far as to the point where I was known as the old man with kids in his basement. We'll come back to this video later. Are you Please. sure that's someone different? Because I feel like we heard that. Are these two different people? I think it's the same guy. No, no, this is a brand new video. I definitely haven't seen this. Here, I'll just pull up what I'm talking about, so that way we can immediately compare. I don't know why I'm asking the fucking chat who half the time suffers from short-term memory loss anyway. I think it was called the Andrew Files that did the deep dive. Is this the one I'm thinking? No, actually, it was, um... This was something different. It was, um... Oh, God. What was the... Just Press Start? Was that the channel? No. There's there have been so many goddamn Roblox predators. What my god. What was the other one that had like about how Roblox isn't safe for kids and then went into detail about some of the pro uh, the predators? People make games. Thank you. That was the one. I couldn't remember the full video on that. Yeah, people make games. The Roblox pressured us to delete our video. Content one. They covered someone in here that I think is the same guy that we're talking about right now who's facing the two life sentences. Let's see. Yeah, responding to the document allegations. Okay, so then this is someone we learned about. I, I really thought it was familiar. Yeah, because of the Jeter Man YouTube channel. 
by apologizing for the things I've said. Yeah. I know I shouldn't have said those things regardless of the context. Moving forward, I will not have this behavior. Okay. So this guy finally got justice delivered then from the sound of things here. There's one user in particular that Arnold became very involved with, who we'll call Sarah. Sarah yep. was 12 years old in 2017. Arnold was 24. That was in the People Make Games video. He knew exactly how old she was, but this didn't stop him from sending her sexually charged messages. You're 12. I expect you to be a little slow on the upbringing, but soon I'll corrupt you beyond your wildest Jesus dreams. Jesus Christ. Emily, please. No, I'll rape you instead. You're the reason what I'm going to end fuck? up behind bars. Wow, that one aged well. These are just a few of the messages. Aren't no, he wasn't wrong. Girl, and she wasn't the only one. Nonetheless, he managed to dodge being exposed for his pedophilic antics for another three years, during which his game and subsequent popularity exploded. In September he predicted the future. He got out his crystal ball. One of my viewers pondered the Japan. orb. Got it right. He sent me a tweet with a link you to will be going Google to jail. Doc showing Arnold's exchanges with Sarah. That same day, Arnold uploaded a response video acknowledging that the things he said were inappropriate, but that they were just jokes. My sense of humor has always been very harsh, dark humor, if you will. No. And while it doesn't God. excuse my behavior, it does reveal that I had no intention on moving on any of the things I said. I can just hear the fedora in his voice. Right now he's got a pinky up as he's saying these things. Ugh. Christ. By the way... Arnold uses a voice changer to make his voice sound deeper. Here's what he actually sounds like. What? Moving forward, I will not have this behavior. This shouldn't have been a joke in the first place. He also brings in a handful of people to give testimonials wow. on how he's totally not a pedophile. It's worth mentioning, every single one of these people were on his payroll. Hey there, my name is Charlie. I'm currently 17 and I work at SCR as a graphics lead. Hello, I am Dead Inside Sonic. I've known Jaden for the past four or five years. I am a contributor to the Roblox game Sonic Eclipse. This is Panic. I've been a part of SEO's community since 2018. Uh, I do animation and modeling work. I want to start off by saying I've known Jaden for five years, and all the years I've known him for, he was very careful with what he said because he knows not to step over the fine line of joking around. Yeah, that's the impression I got from seeing these messages. Yeah. That seems like a guy who's... He knows where to tap dance on the line between right and wrong when it comes to jokes. Interesting. Obviously, the DMs that were exchanged between Jaden and the victims were not okay. Also, there's nothing quite like calling minors to prove you're not a pedophile. Quite the big brain strategy. No, look, I'm not a pedophile. Here's a 17-year-old on my payroll who can say such. Okay. There is no excuse for that. I'm not excusing what he said, but it was never meant to be handled seriously. However, this doesn't give him the excuse to talk to these young individuals like that at all. Though he is not a pedophile. But Jaden <clears throat> is by no means a pedophile. He understands the clear dividing line between jokes and serious harmful actions against others. Well, I'm, I'm just convinced. saying what he did was extremely wrong. And I agree with you all with that, but he's not a fucking pedophile. Jaden clearly knew his boundaries and did not want to indulge in anything illegal for his own safety and the safety of the victims. Towards the end of the video, he shifts the blame onto the 12-year-old and calls her an attention seeker. First things first. Red, what I said to you earlier about my apology was completely sincere, and I hope you can someday let go of this hatred. However, I will call you out on this because you cannot be claiming to be an angel. Uh, yes, victim blaming the child. What's really sad is looking at the like-dislike ratio here. He didn't, like, get slapped down with the dislikes. So he must have actually had support from the community, which is fucking crazy. Thanks the Prime Sticky. And the reset happiest. Duma, Inoya, Ninja, Happy... Raw Dog, Luck, Cam, Abysmal, Rock, and the Gift Sub Philly, and Tier 1 Bootleg. Red has no problem admitting that she craves attention. Her behavior before anything else really just kind of screams it. This video was infuriating to me, not just because he was downplaying what he did, but because his games were still up, 
This community was siding with him. Yeah, the games were super popular. To completely get away with it. So I spoke up. I made a few tweets denouncing him that caught the attention of a Roblox staff member on the developer relations team. I explained the situation to him. I gave him the email address of Sarah's mom, and I also showed him the video of Arnold admitting that the screenshots were real. Since the video is over half an hour long, I created my own video breaking it down in less than seven minutes. Surprisingly, Arnold's main account was deleted not long after my conversation with the staff member. Arnold, however, prepared for this. Also, I'm pretty sure this account is on the... So Roblox has like a public wall of shame that is actively updated anytime there's movement like that with bans. What is it called? I think it's Roblox... Evil Players? Fuck, I can't remember what it is. Evil Roblox. No, that's not it. What the fuck is... What, what was their... They have like an FBI's Most Wanted for Roblox and I can't remember what they call it. Does anyone remember? Is it Terminated Players? Because I, I remembered it being more than that. No, I guess it really might just be Terminated Players. And what I'm thinking of may have just been like a write-up about it. But they ha there's like a different one though. That's like much more focused on like the worst of the worst. But again, that could have just been a write-up on it instead of just like the official one. Let's see if he's on here. It was Dr. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Dr. Rofatnik, which is not here. Is it con? Oh, it's controversial. Uh, here it is. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have like a mug shot and then why they're controversial. Surely he would be here, I would think. Or maybe this is like too extreme for even the controversial wanted board. Yeah. It looks like that's too extreme even for this. On September 9th, 2021, his account was terminated for sp for swearing in front of a Roblox intern using voice chat on one of his alternative accounts. And he's earned his place in the, the hall of evil of Roblox. So yeah, perhaps like actual pedophilia and shit is a little too extreme to be on this wiki. I think that makes sense. Surprisingly, Arnold's main account was deleted not long after my conversation with the staff member. Arnold, however, prepared for this. By his own admission, the Please account he deleted Paragon, wasn't his biggest source of income, Bopley and his revenue and almost now. tripled after he was exposed. By the end of the month, his game was still up, he was still receiving payments from Roblox, and no one had even bothered to reach out to Sarah's mom. I shared my frustration with the staff member, calling Roblox's response weak, saying, if DevRel really wanted to protect their users, they'd have deleted his game and curbed his Roblox income. Roblox's bottom line depends on parents trusting the company with their kids' safety, and that's not going to happen if this is the response to child predators. Very true, but I think one thing Ruben misunderstands is parents don't even care if the shit's safe for their kids. They just need something to distract them. So much parenting these days is just placing a fucking iPad in front of them and letting them go unmonitored on the internet, unsupervised, and then getting mad if something happens and blaming the, the companies for it. Like, it's that's just the most fucking common parenting technique at, the po at this point. I don't even think they care if Roblox is necessarily safe as long as it doesn't cost them money somehow or cause some kind of issue. Around October 14th, the holder account for Arnold's development group was deleted, but Roblox was too slow. Just days before, Arnold transferred ownership of the group to one of his friends, meaning the funds from his game were still accessible. Two weeks later, he tweeted, Thanks for driving more money to my game, man. Oh Jeez, God. you guys are really fucking stupid by giving me all this publicity. Man's capitalizing off being outed as a pedophile, talking about raping kids. To the kids. It's a bold strategy. Well, uh, you know, no such thing as bad publicity, I guess. What was he getting, like 15k a month for his game or something? 
So, I mean, it's, I guess it did work for a certain period of time. After all this, Roblox still wouldn't take down his game. So on November 9th, I called my local police to file a report on him. I spoke with a detective who really seemed like he wanted to help, but since I didn't know anything about Arnold's real identity, there wasn't much they could do. The only people who could have known who he actually was, was Roblox. Since Arnold was approved for the developer exchange, they must have had all his personal info. Had someone at Roblox been the one to make that call, it's my belief that Arnold would have been arrested years ago. In January of 2021, a Roblox account called Warhead Management was created and had the group transferred to it. I messaged a staff member about it, and it got deleted almost immediately. Nice! One week later, Arnold's friend successfully appealed the ban, saying he was the oh. true owner of the account and had nothing to do with the situation. The account was unbanned on January 22nd. Less than four months later, Arnold posted a YouTube video showing that he's still the owner of the game. I also noticed the same Discord server he was using to procure How underage brazen. girls was still linked on his games page. I messaged the staff member asking if they could remove it, and his response was, they can just add it back. <laughs> Things stayed pretty quiet. <laughs> That's like, who works at Roblox? Actual children too? That's like some shit I'd say as a kid, like, what's the point in showering? I'm just gonna get dirty again. Like, it's not even the point. Like, taking action is still worth it, even if it could just be added again. Things stayed pretty quiet until December. A channel called People Make Games released a video on the shadier sides of Roblox. Great which video, too. An interview with Sarah herself, where she admits that watching Arnold's response video made her self harm. People were rightfully upset at how badly Roblox fumbled the situation. Two weeks later, Sega, the owners of the Sonic trademark, filed a copyright notice against Roblox, demanding that they take down Arnold's game. In 2022, a group of highly skilled people made a breakthrough in finding Arnold's identity. I won't get into specifics on how they found him, but they narrowed down his real name, his city, his family members, and his old address. I called my local police again, and they pulled up his case over the phone. I listened as the detective searched through public records and struggled to find a positive ID on the information I gave him. All the info I had was old. Given Arnold's history of using fake identities, I wasn't even sure if I had the name right. There were discrepancies with his birthday, his address, his phone number. Bottom line is, he was really hard to find, and the detective didn't seem confident enough to move further. I told him if I found anything else, I'd call him back. I really didn't have time to continue with all this. I'd just gone through a lawsuit from Roblox, and I really wanted to get back to making videos, so I forgot about everything until May, when one of my viewers told me Arnold had disappeared. He wasn't talking in his Discord server or responding to messages. A few people thought he killed himself. As it turns out, Arnold had been arrested by the FBI. Some breaking news God damn! 6 o'clock, 22-year-old Arnold Castillo of New Jersey is facing federal charges. The reason we're covering this In December, story... he took interest in another underage girl from his Discord server. Oh, shit, okay. Arnold was 28. And so the FBI went on their own side Uber quest and got him. $1,000 to have her picked up and transported 700 miles across state lines to his home in New Jersey. When her mom what? noticed she was missing, she called the police. Two days passed before she was able to meet with the sergeant and a detective at police headquarters, where she told them about Arnold. She knew of him by his fake name, and the fact that a few months prior he had placed orders on Amazon to her house, including several thousand dollars worth of electronics that were cancelled after the delivery deadline was missed. The police got a hold of Arnold over the phone, and of course he claimed his name was Jacob Shedletsky. Can you just imagine a world where Roblox actually takes pedophiles seriously, and then he's never in a position where he pays an Uber driver to transport a child 700 miles away from her parents to be with him? That is entirely on Roblox's plate right there. That is entirely their fucking fault. This could have been this could have been squashed two years well, this was twenty twenty two. Yeah, two years prior. Fucking despicable. And that he lived in California. He gave them copies of his Amazon transactions, and when they asked why his billing address was in New Jersey, he told them he has an associate living there, conducts all of his transactions for him. Less than a week later, police got a hold of his messages to the fifteen year old found his IP address, and traced it to the same home address linked to his Amazon account. On May 11th, special agents with the FBI initiated physical surveillance on Arnold's apartment. 
and within minutes spotted him with the missing 15 year old. They arrested Jesus him on the Christ. spot. He identified himself as Arnold Castillo and claimed he was 22. Obviously, this isn't true, and the agent who wrote his criminal complaint seems to think so too. This same agent found his response video on YouTube. In the video, Castillo's voice can be heard narrating over images regarding allegations that he is a pedophile. Based on his vocalized rebuttals, the allegations sourced from unidentified fellow social media users who were reportedly juveniles. Those users had apparently informed Castillo that they were teenagers, and he ensued by making sexual advances and other derogatory remarks towards them. This has to be one of the first times where a YouTuber apology video is actually cited in a, like a legitimate arrest. That's big. Dr. Rof Rofatnik really fucked Arnold Castillo here by making that apology video with the deep voice modulator. Posted video, Castillo admitted that his comments were inappropriate, but stated that they were supposed to be jokes. Based on these findings, your affiant suspects that Castillo may have been using social media in 2020 to attempt to communicate, lure, and exploit other juvenile females. When I learned about all this, I called my local police back and asked them to forward the info I gave them to the FBI. Arnold has since pled not guilty, and his trial is scheduled for November 7th. He'll take a plea deal. No doubt in my mind. He's not going to try and fight it. With the overwhelming evidence and a physical sting operation that observed a minor going into his apartment after being reported as missing, and then the seven hundred, the thousand dollar bribe to the Uber driver to bring them there, and the getting all of his messages, no shot. He's going to take a plea deal. Trials tomorrow. Yep. Really fumbled that one there, huh, Roblox? This is still all supposed. Well, he's not found guilty on it yet, I suppose. So yeah, I, I suppose the right word is alleged. But he has himself confirmed all of the things he said to minors. Even blamed them for attention-seeking by bringing it up. And then the goddamn FBI investigated and caught physical evidence, watched a minor go into his apartment after the whole missing persons report on a child. It's pretty solid evidence, I would say. I think we can at least surmise with a high level of confidence that not guilty is probably not the right word here. Things in tier one, red beard. That's actually, that is actually crazy. Good shit, Ruben. Ruben is actually like the Batman of Roblox. Even though he wasn't the one that ended up leading to the arrest of the Predator, I still think his information is going to be integral to the case. They found the apology video on their own, but Ruben compiled like all other relevant information to forward to them. So now this guy is facing two life sentences, right? Is that what it was? Yeah, two life sentences. And this could have all been avoided, well, this guy was, he was a pedophile before Roblox, but the actual victim going there in person could have been avoided had Roblox just done the bare minimum of taking a pedophile seriously. Links to the resub, Pius. Minimum 20 years though, I guess. Is that how it works? Is that the minimum? Because I'm, uh, I'm not entirely familiar with exactly how it works, but th it would make sense to me. Mm. 
Things are resub Morthar. Yes, 10 to life each, so all super vi Okay, gotcha. Things are resub Walrum. What happened to the girl? Is she okay? I'm, I have no idea. She's a minor, so I doubt they're going to publish any information. I'll tell you, since they were there in person, watch the minor go in. There is a 0% chance the FBI didn't act, uh, like, pretty soon after or immediately. So I'm assuming she wasn't harmed. But as for, like, what happened after that, they're not going to say that. It's a minor. Your family must be so pissed at that dude. Well, I mean, yes, obviously. I think they would also be equally as pissed at Roblox once they learned that Roblox had two years worth of information they refused to act on. Thanks for five gift subs, Dung. Appreciate it, man. At the very least, he has been caught, which is more than we can say for the other predators from Roblox that we learned about over the last year or so. This is the Prime Tron. So what's that guy's name? Arnold Castillo or Jaden Shadletsky? No, he's... It's not Jaden Shadletsky. They impersonated the brother of the founder. So they kept calling themselves Jaden Shadletsky. But no, his name's Arnold. <clears throat> I think it's the bits, bud. Did the Uber driver not get in trouble? Because doesn't that classify as human trafficking? I don't think the guy said hey i need you to transport this miner that i'm trying to lure over here i'm sure he came up with a story to cover that that's him what no this is the fucking creative director of roblox there's no picture of arnold but he bribed him 1k i i don't even know if you'd call that a bribe though because they're didn't like there's old youtube videos where there was a challenge where you pay an uber driver an absurd amount of money to drive you an absurd duration i don't know if that's necessarily a bribe it's them paying for more than they'd ever get through like uber i guess it i mean i guess it is kind of like technically a bribe to be fair since it's not part of the job to drive that far Things are so greasy. Yeah, I don't know. That is actually kind of an interesting gray area. I do wonder how much the Uber driver even asked or if the Uber driver even got, like, a little suspicious on why. Because that's 700 miles with a 15-year-old. Right? Like, that, that plan actually did go through. I'm not misremembering, right? It wasn't just the intention that did go through because the 15-year-old the showed up at his apartment when the FBI busted him. So then, yeah. And then where was the 700 miles? Hired a car to drive 700 miles to his home for sex. Yeah. So I guess that actually did happen just like that. These are Prime Haroldson and Jumper, and the resub Greasy, Hammy, and Delta. Yeah, 
Yeah, so it's really just going to depend on whatever story Arnold told the Uber driver. I have to imagine the Uber driver didn't know. Uber is not allowed to drive minors without an adult that's in their terms of service. Which, I mean, I'm assuming he didn't tell him it was a minor. Though I, I would think you would recognize that it's a kid. But, I mean, maybe not. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the driver. Would the driver not ask? I guess not. I don't know. So is he 22 or older? I believe Arnold is 26, right? He gave them a, a fake age. Or at least that's what all of their accounts said, 26. Oh, 28. Was it 28? No. There's a lot of information here. Now I'm getting wires crossed. Twenty one isn't a creepy age for that though. Man, you need some help. What? Twenty one and fifteen is still awful. That's what? <laughs> I, I don't I don't even know why that needs to be said. What? Honestly, police wouldn't go after the Uber driver, Castillo's the big fish. Yeah, it wasn't like trying to put blame on the Uber driver or anything, it's just more so trying to understand how that would have happened. Cause that's seven hundred miles, like that's that's not like a walk around the park. That's not like a brisk jog from, you know, one county to the other. That's a long, long, long drive. So it's just, it's just weird. That's, that's just kind of a weird situation. I knew someone that was in his Sonic game. I knew someone that was in his Sonic games community, and basically every Discord member knew about his behavior and still played. Yeah, that's not a secret. He even publicly said like the pedophile allegations and it like boosted the popularity and the amount of money he was making from his game. And even in his like and dislike ratio on his apology video, where he was talking about it, had like a pretty even like to dislike ratio. So the guy had support. For some reason, the community didn't care. And Roblox certainly didn't care either.